Hey guys, this is Sam Senior again from Think Mobiles, and in today's video, I just want to show you something real cool, and that is how you can actually get your iPad and iPhone games and application right on your M1 MacBook Pro, and also concerning the games you can actually play it using a PS4 controller. That is pretty cool. I tell you, this M1 MacBook Pro is a beast, and it can do a lot of things that was unimaginable. And right now I'm just having a lot of fun but today I just want to share with you how you can actually have fun if you do have your MacBook Air or your MacBook Pro with the M1 silicon chip so let's get right into it shall we see ya so the first thing you need to do is go to your browser and then you type download amazing this is the name of the software that you need and then you click enter I've already downloaded this software so but you're going to of course follow the normal procedures to install this you click on free download and it's gonna start downloading okay I'm going to save mine on the desktop and if you see right here it shows that it's downloading and so when you down when you finish downloading it you click the install button Okay, I've already installed it and it's going to be something like this. You see, it's going to show amazing. And so what you need to do is to open the application and wait for it to open up. And then you see that uh, you can either choose to, you know, enter the license code. I you need to purchase the application. But for now, you can use the trial. So just click on continue trial. And it's going to prompt you to actually uh, plug in your iPhone or your iPad, whichever one you're going to be taking the uh, applications for from. But uh, the most important thing is that, first of all, whatever application you want to download, you need to get them on the iPad or on the iPhone first. And then you come to Manage Applications. And here it's going to show you all the applications you have installed on your iPhone or your iPad, whichever is connected. And so it's taking a little bit of time. Yeah, if it's taking some time, make sure you unlock, unlock the device. So after you see all your application listed like this, and what you need to do is to go to the app you want to install. For example, I actually installed this app called Tactical. So you click on this icon right here to download it. And after I finish downloading, just double click, okay? Or right click by you by tapping with two fingers on the by tapping with two fingers and then you click the export IPA and when you click the export IPA it's going to show you the location where you want to export this IPA and so you can click to whatever location you want to export it to and then you save it so I'm going to save it to my desktop for example so you can see how it looks like so when it's saved on your desktop all you need to do is to install it like every other file so it's going to show preparing to install and all that and uh okay it installed again i actually have had it installed before and now it installed again so i'm going to delete this okay so what you need to do is so i'm going to install it so you're going to find this application just like every other application is going to be uh found So you're going to find the application here, okay? And if you click it, it's going to open up just like it would on your iPad or your iPhone. And in terms of connecting your, in terms of connecting, and in terms of connecting your, uh, and in terms of connecting your controller, all you need to do. And in terms of connecting your controller, all you need to do is to come to the Bluetooth section and connect your controller. First, you just need to 
turn on your ps4 controller by holding down the share button and then when you click on the bluetooth you're going to search for it and then you'll find it and it's going to just connect automatically like it would with any other bluetooth device so when it's connected it automatically supports whatever game you're going to use it for so you can use it for uh, this game i haven't actually tried other games out but you know for some games it does support uh, some games and some others i haven't tried it yet so and also you can enlarge the screen if you want so that's it guys about this tutorial if you do like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and also I'll see you